know how powerful content is in getting your business noticed online, but with an ocean of content out there, how do you make sure yours is going to be seen by the right people? Well, one of the ways to stand out is to have a diverse content calendar to play around with several different content styles and ideas so that you can figure out which is the winning formula that encourages your target audience to stop, sit up, consume your content and connect with your brand. So. If you feel like you need some inspiration for your content that will get you noticed, this video is for you. Stay tuned for eight ways to fill your content calendar so that you'll have enough content to last you for the next month and beyond. Welcome to the Agora Pulse UK and Ireland channel. I'm your host, Natalie Haley. So the first way we're going to get your content noticed is through how-to articles. So how-to searches online are a dream for marketing your business. You know that anyone searching for information on how to do something, whether it's how to make homemade tortellini or how to fix a leaky tap, is ready and willing to explore your content, to take a deeper dive into what you have to say and to absorb your expertise. Now, it's also a great way to segue into offering your own products or services as a potential solution without feeling intrusive or giving a hard sell, which is why the classic how-to article isn't going anywhere. So have a think about how you can create how-to content that will help solve your audience's problems and highlight your expertise. Now, of course, how-to articles aren't the only form of instruction-based content out there. So keep watching for two more how-to content ideas. Next up, infographics. Now, when you're creating content, it's a good idea to remember that we all learn differently. And so some people will get a ton of value from a text-heavy how-to article, but some people would prefer a more visual aid. Enter infographics, flowcharts, checklists, and other image-based content. They can be a great way to provide instructional content for a whole new audience. And they work really well on platforms like Reddit and Pinterest, for example. So with a plethora of new tools out there to help you with the design process, it has never been easier to create this type of content. Next up, video tutorials. So you probably already know that creating video content is a great way to build a connection with your audience and trust in your brand. And so it's a great medium for your instructional content. Now, you might want to play around with things like product walkthroughs, step-by-step -step visual instructions, animated tutorials, or maybe step-by-step -step slideshows. But instructional content isn't the only way that you can use video to your advantage. You can find out more in my next content idea coming up, video testimonials. So moving away from how-to content, but sticking with video, we come to video testimonials. Now, as you know, today's consumers are all about the research. There are so many options for every product and every service. The final buying decision often comes down to customer reviews. And while there's nothing wrong with written reviews, as you'll see in content idea number five, video testimonials can have a ton of impact. Not only do potential customers see real life people singing your praises, but you'll get a serious credibility boost when a search for your company name brings up numerous videos of previous happy customers, bringing us on to case studies. Now, similarly, case studies can be really valuable in helping people understand all of the different ways that you can help them solve their problems, possibly ways that they wouldn't have thought of if you hadn't addressed them in a case study. Now, if you're gonna add case studies to your content calendar, try to make them as diverse as possible and highlight the different types of customer you serve and the different types of problems that your product or service can solve. Next up, listicles. Okay, so I know that you might roll your eyes a little bit at this one because this type of content has been around forever and just about every marketer has created at least one listicle or best of roundup. But there's a reason people keep creating this type of content. People keep engaging with it too, and it works whether you're writing a roundup of your favorite self-development books or the best fitness tracker. People like to see their options laid out in an easy to digest piece of content. So don't dismiss listicles just because they've been overdone. They still work really well. Next up, seasonal content. Now seasonal content should be part of your content calendar for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's easy to plan. You can pretty well gauge when people are going to start searching for how to cook the perfect roasted turkey, the most romantic weekend breaks for Valentine's Day, or the best Halloween party games for kids. So you can plan your seasonal content in advance and take advantage of the peak in interest. And secondly, it provides evergreen content that you can repurpose and tweak every year and share it all over again. Now, are you ready for my last content idea? I've definitely saved the best 
the last here and that's collaborative content now if you haven't included any type of collaboration in your content calendar you're missing a huge opportunity collaborations are helpful in so many ways you get to share a whole load of new knowledge with your audience you strengthen relationships with other people in your field or industry and your collaborator will likely share your collaborative content with their own followers which then puts your business on the radar of a whole new audience so what does collaborative content look like? Well, you could hold a webinar and invite a collaborator on as a guest tutor. You could include the opinions of other experts in your field in a listicle or opinion piece, or maybe you could conduct an interview with a series of guests your audience are likely to find interesting. So there you go. Eight different content ideas you can try today. So fill out your content calendar and help your business get noticed for all the right reasons. And if you've already experimented with any of these, I'd love to know which is your favourite. Drop me a comment and let me know below. And if you want to read all about these great tips that we've shared today, there's a blog all about it and you can find a link to that in the description below.